Hey, what's up? Sam here. Today, we are going to take a quick look at the Honor 70 series. Just for record, at the Honor shop, I went to didn't have the Honor 70 with the newest firmware, so I was unable to fully experience the cool solo cut mode vlog camera feature. For what the hell is that? I will talk about it later. Anyway, I think that feature is one of the biggest upgrades from its predecessor. But gladly, my long-term partner Eva sent me her Honor 70 Pro review video, which includes that. Huge thanks to her, and please subscribe to her channel if you haven't. Starting with the Honor 70, one significant design difference from the 70 Pro is the camera module. The two rings are separated. For the specs, it includes a 54-megapixel main, a 50-megapixel ultra-wide, and a 2-megapixel depth sensor. Moving to the front, it features a 6.67-inch Full HD+, only displayed with a 120Hz refresh rate. Under the hood, it runs an Android 12-based Magic UI 6.1, and the processor is Qualcomm Snapdragon 778G+. My first impression is that this is really lightweight and thin 5G phone. Should it be very comfortable to hold all day long? Moving to the Honor 70 Pro, this is the main thing I'm going to talk about today. First, about the color. One of the stylish colors is the Crystal Silver, which they adopted this diamond pattern design. If we take a closer look, they even embedded numerous particles inside, just like sky of stars. Feels shiny and fashionable. Do you like this color or prefer more mature colors like the Midnight Black, Emerald Green, or Frosted Gold? Let me know in the comments section. Regarding the camera specs, just like the Vanilla version, it sports a 54-megapixel main. That's the newest Sony flagship 1 over 1.49-inch IMX 800 camera sensor. A 50-megapixel 122-degree ultra-wide camera that also doubles as a micro camera. Unlike the Honor 70, the Pro and the Pro Plus come with an 8-megapixel telephoto camera, supporting 3 times optical zoom and up to 30 times digital zoom. We took some samples. Overall, we feel the photos have an accurate color reproduction, look detailed and comfortable. The selfie camera is 50 megapixel and has a wide 100 degree field of view. It offers a decent bokeh effect. More photo samples were taken by Eva. Check them out. Finally, move to the most important upgrade, the solo cut mode vlog feature I mentioned before. What does that mean is it produces portrait vlogs that track a specific person in a group video and two high definition videos simultaneously. In other words, it gives you two videos at one time. One is normal, whilst the other is the one that tracks the person you selected. To our surprise, the latter always keeps you in the center of the picture. You can switch the tracking to the other person in the group video. The preview window is free to adjust the size. Just imagine you can record a portrait video and a landscape video at the same time. That would be so efficient. One interesting thing we found was when Eva left the frame, the camera set lost the object and would stop tracking at 5 seconds. While the main camera kept recording, once the Eva returned to the camera frame, it automatically detected the object and started tracking recording. Wow! One time offers two angle videos, perfect for poor video creators like me, because I cannot afford another cameraman. Anyway, do you think this is a gimmick or actually practical? For the camera features like multi-video recording, gesture controls, it has all, just like its predecessor, the Honor 60. Regarding other specs, the Honor 70 Pro and the Pro Plus come with a 10-bit 120Hz refresh rate, 6.78-inch OLED display, the battery is 4500mAh, and the charger is 100 watts. While for the processor, the 70 Pro sports the Dimensity 8000, whilst the 70 Pro Plus got the Dimensity 9000. That's the only difference between the two phones. In case you want to know the Android benchmark of the 70 Pro Plus, here you go. It's quite a surprise, isn't it? Of course, we try some games, and in our opinion, it has all the performance a decent 20, 22 meter to high end 5G phone should have. Smooth and playable. Alright, that's the hands of the Honor 70 series. What do you think? With that cool solo cut mode camera feature, 
Do you think this is the perfect vlog phone in 2022? Will you buy it? Just let me know. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. I'm Sammy. I will see you in the next video.